Okay, brothers, I brought you all together because uh, we're going to uh, read out of uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book. Uh, it does have a South African connection. Well, this volume does. does because uh, mm -hmm. uh, because we, what we did, what I did, was this book was gifted to me from uh, my fraternity brother, who's a big time, uh, well, he was a, he's retired, a big time Africana Studies professor at a Keene University in New Jersey. And anyway, this is the original. This is an original book. It's the uh, the, the United Ind Independent Compensatory Code System Concept, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for the victims of racism. And Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines it as uh, white supremacy. And that's, a, that's his name right there, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This is the original book that came out in 1985. I just had it bound at, uh, at Lovedale Press up there in Alice. And see, so it's bound there. The guy, I had him sign it. When did, he, when, when, when did we bind this? It was uh, 2015 when I brought it down to Africa. So it's been, it's been here. See? Now, it's, uh, now, now, let me just real, real quick. I, yeah, let me just do this introduction. I call it, well, he, he, his, he says he says it's a system of uh, white supremacy, which is racism, right? That's what that's what Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. said. Now, you uh, there's a thing called he calls VGQ victims qualified VG uh, VGQ victims guaranteed qualifications. If you're a victim of Anglo racism, well, a victim of racism, white supremacy, you have a right to say whatever you want to say, and nobody can challenge you. So now what he says, I say it's uh, the, uh, a system of uh, racist white supremacy. Now I put a system of Anglo, because the Anglos are the ones that first started it, right? Uh, but uh, a racist, what did I say there? Embracing? Oh, racist embracing racism white supremacy. Ooh, I forgot I wrote that. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so I just expanded. But the, the trick is this. Everybody say if some black person do you wrong, say, oh, damn, brother, let me, oh, my goodness, oh, brother, why'd you do this to me? I don't know. No. He, that, per, that person, be they, be they uh, Chinese, Indian, Korean, African, uh, what is this, uh, Spanish, your own brother. What they're doing is they're embracing, they've fought into the system. So anybody can buy into the system and, and, and be a, a racist person. Supremacists, whatever they might not be an Anglo race supremacist, but that is, but the Anglos always they always went out. Don't worry about this. So this is our first session here in Dubai. Enjoy your chicken. <laughs> this, this is this is funny because this is like you know black people always know with chicken and then you're a real African. So I think I want to have a tradition yeah, that if you just like this, so we have some sort of you know I don't know sacred thing happening here. Uh, just for folks to know where we're in, we're in Dubai. Now usually I have time and I look. I look something up, and we have just like what I call like my Sunday sermons. But tomorrow, for fi after tomorrow, starting tomorrow for fifty-two days, I am not talking. So obviously, I can't on Sundays read out of the book to to my to to, to the YouTube, which I usually put this on. So I have to try to do about six sessions real quick <laughs> here, so that you know I can just schedule them on YouTube, so we so I don't miss a a, a thing. And, and strangely enough, the seventh session. Would be when my when my ding is up. And the seventh session is on a Sunday, and that Sunday is July third, which happens to be my birthday. So what happens is for fifty two days before my birthday, I'm I'm silent. I'm into my head. I'm da -da -da. okay. Don't worry about that part. So I'm just going to go to any. Oh, oh I, I should just give you an introduction here. Some kind of introduction. Now, Miss Neely Fuller Jr. says there are nine areas of activity, right? Uh, and they are. I'll take the because I have to read. They are economics. Uh, education, area three is entertainment, area four is labor, area uh, five is law, area six is politics, and six is not, uh, law, 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 oh, I know what I do. Area seven is religion, area eight is sex, and area nine is a war counter war. Um, now, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., he broadcasts, he's on the internet, he, he transmits every Tuesday uh, for two hours. I just downloaded his thing, and I was listening to some of it. Uh, but, he, every, but, but he doesn't talk about this war counter-war. 
because for of some reasons. So what I'm going to do now, rather than do the whole thing, I'm going to just go and read through with this, this code book. Now, again, um, let me start what he says right here. If you do not understand white supremacy, that's racism, right? What it is and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you. The racist white supremacist, they love confusion, okay? Now, he, he wrote this, he wrote this in 1971. He started writing this book in 1957. This man's like 93 or something like this, years old now. He, he, he published this particular book, this, this edition. This is the big edition. And uh, basically, in, in, in 1984. Now, since then, he's revised it. This is in a smaller book. You know what I mean? It's, it's a smaller format, right? So he has, uh, in 19, uh, uh, 19, in uh, 2016, is it when he came, was it 50? Anyway, 2016, I think it is. That's when he came out. I have the, I have the book. I have that book, that edition in place. Um, he came out with a revised edition, including what's called a word guide. Because when he did this book, then there's some words, there's some words in the back here. It's like a word guide back here. But this one has two separate word guides, right? And then people were saying, no, we want the original book. We want the original book. So he republished the original book, this this book here, but in a smaller, it's like a smaller format. But this is the original, original, right? So so rather than, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, for this first session, I'm just going to go to all the areas Area one, economics, right? Use of time and energy. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go through it. You can figure out which or not. Or just, if you, don't, just you, you can just let it go. It doesn't matter. Economics, use of time and energy. Avoid excess. No buying for show off. You know what that means, right? Avoiding offspring. I don't know what that means. But it, it, that's on page 61. We can look at that some other time. No sex for money. We all know what that means, right? Avoiding, avoid borrowing. Right? Ask for help. Expecting help for or expecting help for offspring. That's your children. Making vacations. Make time for, for rest. Meditation. Clothing styles. This is very important. I'm, 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 here's what I do. Uh, buying land. We know we're in, we're in Africa. You know, the, the, the other people are buying your land. They won't give you back your land. Saving money. Accusing, oh, accusing non-white people. I don't know what that means either. I want to go to something here. That's what I'll do. Well, this session is going to be short, but I want to go to one thing here. This is sort of really important. Uh, this thing about clothing styles. Right? I, um, now, here's what I, I preach. This, these are Sunday sermons. Here's what I preach for a bit. I heard this uh, uh, sister, Sister Sharad Ali. She said something very interesting. Now, if, if what happens is when when you're like 18 to about 25, you know you're you're young. You got all that testosterone. You want to run the women. Women the women want to be attractive, but they're trying to attract the mate, right? That go ahead, get, get some stuff. They want to attract the mate and all that stuff. And so they dress they dress a certain way to attract the mate. They think that's going to attract the mate. Here's the problem: after they attract the mate, a lot of times what we what what, what folks do is the women are still dressing, dressing provocatively. You, you know what I mean? You know, they're still dressing like, you know, they're, they're looking for somebody, mm -hmm. right? Um, so what happens, though, if you dress like that and you got, you got a, a man or a boyfriend, you're basically putting your man in danger because if somebody comes, you, you're you looking attractive, some other dude comes up to your woman, you say, hey, it's my woman. Well, that woman just puts you in danger because you got to stand up for her. You, you're a man. <laughs> you got to stand up for, for your woman. So if she's dressing like that, she's basically asking for <laughs> to, asking for somebody to, to somebody else, and then what happens? There's a big fight. Bad, bad, bad. I'm not saying women shouldn't dress whatever, whatever. But if you got if you attach to somebody, don't be going out there putting your man in danger. And the other thing is true. If you're a dude. You know, and you've been all flashy and stuff like that, wanting to attract women, and you got a woman, huh? <laughs> you know, that's trouble. Because you're attracting women, and the women are coming to you, your woman's getting feeling a certain way. Now, if your woman's like my wife, my wife is a killer. She, she, she's a gangster. You know, <laughs> she, 
she beat the woman and me. So I, you know, but then you, you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So I just I just stopped right there, just on that first that first thing. Because uh, I want to have success. Well, let me let me let me let me Question. let me go. But this 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 way of, uh, of what we say um, an introduction to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. He thinks logically. I mean, it has to make sense. In fact, he has this thing that says, "We all are emotional. We get emotional, especially black folks. Right? We get emotional, but the emotion should lead to you at some particular point. The emotion should lead to logic." And that logic will inform your action. In other words, if you don't have that logical step in it, you go from emotion to action. And that action, whoa, it may not be that, you know what I mean? But if you, your emotion, and then you think about it, walk around the block, and da da da, then all of a sudden, you know, it'll, it'll be right. So let me end this session here. Why? Because, uh, because of certain circumstances. It's the introduction. And, uh, just an introduction from, from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.